Hey there students. So in this video today, we're going to talk about contribution margin. Now, this is the start of the cost volume profit chapter. And I felt it was fitting to start with contribution margin because we talk about contribution margin so much in this chapter. So what is contribution margin? And there's a few ways to look at it. One, it's the money that's used to pay off fixed costs. Think about it. You're going to take this margin, right? Margin represents profit, if you will. And you're going to use that margin to pay off your fixed costs. Remember that. Write that down. This will make more sense in a little bit when we talk about the income statements. But another way to look at it is this. Sales minus variable costs. That's another way to look at it. There's two ways, so write both of them down. So did you actually contribute? That's the idea here. What are you contributing toward? And contribution margin contributes to paying off fixed costs. And the formula for that is sales minus variable costs. Let's go through some examples here. So let's revisit that formula. Sales minus variable costs equals contribution margin. You have to know it. So write it down, pause the video if you need to, write it down so we can continue. Now, contribution margin, once again, this represents what I call the gap. The gap between your sales minus variable costs and your fixed costs. It's the gap. It's the in-between. And you'll see that here. Notice this. The margin is in between your sales and variable costs and your fixed costs. That's why I call it the gap. So you can see here, contribution margin is contributing to paying off your fixed costs. That's what it does. So let's take a look here. We're gonna go through a little example. And this is gonna be in total, what I call it, so total. In a second, we'll do per unit. So sales in total is 100. Variable cost is 30. So 100 for sales minus $30 in variable costs will equal $70. So that will be your contribution margin is $70. Now let's try it in a per unit example. Sales for 100, variable costs are 30. Units, 10 units. So $10 for sales now. How do I get that? Why well, did sales of 100 divided by 10 units? So I got $10 for sales. And now we're going to subtract, once again, our variable costs, but it's on a per unit level, right? $30 for variable costs divided by 10 units. So it's going to be 3 bucks a unit for variable costs. So now contribution margin on a per unit level will equal $7 per unit. So you can do it either way, right? In total or per unit. The only difference is you have to divide by the units produced to get to $7 a unit. Two ways to do it there. Hopefully you see that. So that's some basics here of what is contribution margin. I gave you two examples, one in total, one per unit. And also you know that contribution margin represents the gap between fixed costs and your sales minus variable costs. It's the gap in between. Contribution margin contributes to paying off fixed costs. So thanks for watching today.